Hello and welcome to Sorted Food. Once again, we've been busy bees scouring the internet for some fun food subscriptions for us to taste, test and review for your viewing pleasure. Now, because we're all friends here, we've actually been out buying these subscription boxes for each other to review. And we're going to start with my gift from me to Michael. I'm intrigued and excited. Can I? Please. Premium Japanese snacks. Oh, hey. I've been taking things out of this box for about two minutes. This is like Mary Poppins handbag. So Mike, what you have is the Boksu Japanese snack subscription box. Boksu delivers to your door the experience of tasting authentic Japanese snacks candies and teas sourced directly from centuries old small family businesses. Every month you can now get a box of all of those goodies sent to you so you can explore the whole range of Japanese snacks and delicacies without having to go there. Every single product has a section that tells you about it. For example, this is a white strawberry. It's the world's first chocolate infused salt strawberry. Harvested, freeze dried, infused with white chocolate and cooled. Oh, it's amazing. <laughs> the smile says it all. That is so delicious. We got some mochi, Ebers. Love a mochi. Baz, you can have the matcha chocolate bar. Good catch. <laughs> Spaff, red bean donut. Excellent. Okay, oh. Baz, let me tell you a little bit about that. This soft cake uses matcha from Uji Kyoto, which is known for its high quality matcha. Pairing earthly matcha with bittersweet chocolate chips gives this cake a rich, subtle, sweet flavour. Oh. Uh, okay. Oh. That's travelled a long way, but it tastes pretty oh. fresh, isn't it? That's rather special. What I really like is that this is doing a good thing in both directions. This is our ability to travel without traveling by getting the snacks delivered to us. All of the small artisanal producers who are producing really traditional snacks and sweets and things are also getting their a new market. products yeah, delivered to a new market. They're expanding, they're able to export them overseas and they're able to keep their traditions going. How about a packet of seaweed tempura? Oh my goodness, they're the best. You're gonna lose your mind over those. Oh, they're like Japanese skips. They're the best. Oh, Evers, wow. give them back. Oh, this is more. my box, oh, Evers. Stop infiltrating it. You can thank me thank for delivering you. you the gift, but you can also thank Ellie Kemp, who was the person that recommended this to us on the community tab. Thank you, Ellie Kemp. The reason that I like this box so much is because it's a great insight into something completely different from our current culture. But committing to that every month as a subscription box, it's a whole different ball game. Unless it's potentially nostalgia. Mm -hmm. People who can't get their favourite snacks that they've always loved, actually that kind of taste of home. Mm -hmm might be an interesting angle. I completely agree. Do you want to have a stab in the dark at how much it might cost? Mm. This is a US-based company. The price does include shipping from Japan. In each box, you get 20 to 24 different products. 40 pounds a month. Well, I don't see how on earth they can make it work for any less than that if it includes shipping from Japan. 40 pounds a month. $40 a month, about 30 pounds-ish. I think if you want it, you'll justify that price easily. And the question that's on everybody's lips, would you check your mail or is it an instant fail? Oh, I'd be checking my mail. Barry, my turn to gift to you. Oh, chocolate box. Oh, okay. Coco Runners is where you join a club where the bars taste better are better for you and better for the farmers and the planet. Nice. Nice. So yes. it is the world's foremost selection of luxury single estate chocolate. Okay, interesting. So much like the Japanese snack box, every month it's a different theme. Your theme today, or this month, is textures. That is a decent theme, I like it. We're gonna start in Grenada. Right. Oh, 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 very, it's 71% dark. It's earthy. Berry and intense. You know it's good because it's mega fruity. It tastes almost like you're eating raw cocoa nibs. Struggle with texture because it's the texture of chocolate. So I don't know what I'm looking for there. This is a slow melting, long lasting chocolate oh, texture. Oh, okay. You're so right because I can't get rid of it. And no. That's amazing. It is delicious though. Where are we going next? Uh, we're going to Colombia. 
which is 65%. So each of these are handcrafted from around the world by small batch makers. They kind of cut out the middlemen, they work directly with the farms and then do small batch bean to bar production. Oh, we've found a winner. Now texture, straight away, completely different. It's a lot smoother. It has the same fruitiness, but it is like having dried fruit, more, a more intense sugar. That is immediately fruity mm. and immediately sweet, mm. whereas the other one had such a long tail that the sweetness came through at the end. Keep going, this where are we going next? Kit. Now, I'm moving on to Cho, milk, buttery, caramel and sweet. This one I geek out on oh. because this is a San Francisco company who use a lot of tech. So they have virtual probes, temperature probes, that are measuring humidity and temperature at which the beans are fermenting, where they are fermenting, that they can control that from San Francisco. So this is like high-tech chocolate to get that texture. Oh my God. Oh wow. That's like eating like, chocolate-flavoured butter. That That's ridiculous. Is much sweeter. <laughs> much more like milk chocolate. With the caramel in there as well. So naughty. Wow. That is exceptional. Wow. This is... Taza! <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. It's grainy. Like they've put really tasty sand in it. It tastes like um, cinnamon. 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 <laughs> Spice badge! Give me one <laughs> right now. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's got cinnamon in it. So the founder of this particular um, bean to bar maker went to Mexico, loved the kind of combination of cinnamon and chocolate and the way they would grind it by hand, bought one of the mills, took it back, and is still using it to this day to make the texture, which is why it's not Ooh. smooth. It's, it's got almost that biscuity crunch. Yeah. When you go to the supermarket, it's the same selection every single week when you're in there. And of the more premium chocolates, there's not a huge amount there to choose from. Hunting out the right artisanal producers um, isn't necessarily easy, especially on a global scale. The fact that it's been done for you is really nice. So I definitely think there's a place for this as a, as a subscription model. How much do you reckon for a monthly oh, subscription? No. <laughs> 24 pounds? Ooh, you can have change, it's 22.95. Oh, it's, uh, it, this is where chocolate is so annoying because I know I can go to the shops and buy a good bar of chocolate for a couple of quid. But is it a good bar of chocolate? Is it? No, it's not. Is it from a good place? Is it giving back to the community? No, it's not. It? Exactly. But it's, but it's, it's what society has accepted is, is, is good value for chocolate isn't good value for no. chocolate. And we love it because it's full of sugar and dairy. I love it too. So yes, this is fantastic value. And I've got to just be better. And you're dead right, Baz, because these are all at least fair trade. In fact, I think the Dutch one is 50% more than the fair trade premium because they know that is a deserved price, not just an acceptable price. So the question is, are you going to check your mail or is it an instant fail? I will be checking my mail. This might be a game changer. Lift the cloche. Little Cook's Co. Chocolate caramel bites. Have lots of fun in the kitchen making these gooey, delicious little bites and then proudly serve them to your friends and family. Now, as the OG sorted dad, we thought this kit <laughs> is made for you. Oh, so this isn't for me. This is for... Yes. You're the big cook. This is, this is for Little Cook's. This is the Little Cook's monthly cooking kit for kids. Oh, nice. Oh, this is really cool. So in there you've got two recipes. One recipe um, comes with the ingredients to bake something. In every box there is a baking kit. And another recipe to cook midweek with the kids. Oh, what's the midweek meal? I'm interested. Flatbreads. Okay. So the kit is basically designed to kind of help kids and families stay healthy and happy. Healthy being everything's organic and happy. You're cooking together and spending more time together. Um, so shall we make something? Yes, Daddy. No, <laughs> no. That took a sour. No, time. Daddy. <laughs> right, you've got everything you need. I'm going to place my dates, some milk, and some warm water into a blender jug and set aside. Now, one of the things that Little Cooks are aiming to do is to help create healthier and happier lifestyles for families. What are you thinking? Sugar. Sugar, Lots of baking. It. Baking, caramel. The healthy bit is kind of focusing on scratch cooking using well sourced ingredients and knowing what you're putting into your food. So it's more about the education of what is healthy. Whilst my dates, milk and water get to know each other in this jug, I'm going to melt some coconut oil and then I can mix together in a mixing bowl all of my different flours. So is baking something you regularly do with the kids? Because whenever I've cooked at home with Austin, personally, it's unbelievably stressful. He's happy though. <laughs> he's the happiest he's ever been. 
<laughs> but you're the whole matters. time you're thinking, don't knock that over, don't pour that in. That's a knife, put it down! <laughs> oh damn, I left oh. the hob on again. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's an age thing because once they get to Evie's age, then that becomes much easier to manage. And actually she can help out with things. She can actually okay. stir things, not necessarily worry about knocking sous -chef. things over. Yeah, proper sous chef. Mentorship. This is, yeah, look at this. This is parenting mentorship. Dad to dad chat. Now, Helen, the founder, um, she originally worked at 10 Downing Street. So it was on leaving 10 Downing Street to become a nutritionist, where she was asked by lots of different parents about nutrition for their kids, like what to look out for. And it was from that, this idea came up. The fact that there's nutritional expertise behind this, I think is quite comforting probably. Mm. Is it, as a parent? It's just really helpful because when you're cooking something, a chocolate caramel bite, your instant impression isn't, oh, that sounds healthy. Mm. But then you look at the ingredients that are going into it, all of the different flours, the fact that there are all the options there to make it vegan if you wanted to. Like, there's so much thought that's gone into that, which is great. And even your caramel part is basically dates, milk, water, blended up with a little bit of sugar. So it's, mm, okay. it's kind of using natural sugars, but they're still sugars. My biscuit base is gonna go into the oven for about 15 minutes. That'll give us some time to finish off our date caramel, make a little chocolate layer. Then when this comes out of the oven and cools down, we can layer it all up, chuck it into the freezer to cool. We can dig in. Mate, that looks great. How was it? Nothing in those instructions was really precise. What had to be done to the, you know, pre to the letter. Pre-weighed as well, I guess. Everything's pre-weighed. good, so it's just dunk that in. That feels like a real safety net to me and can actually help the kids build their confidence, which is what this should all be about. Right, well, tuck in, see what you think. Cheers, boys. You get more coconut than anything else in that. I'm really glad we used the coconut oil and not the, and not butter. It's delicious. Mm. I like the fact it gives you options, coconut oil or butter, mm. honey or maple syrup. There's a few twists and turns you can take depending on what you've got in your cupboard to add to the dry ingredients they provide. It's, it's nice. It's also not just two recipes. I mean, there's seeds there, so you can grow your own tomato seeds, all the information as to why plants are super, like some fun activities to do with uh, making your own telephone. This, I think, is really cool. Evie would love this, a little record book um, to show what she's cooked. How much do you reckon that monthly subscription is? For me, that provides like more than an afternoon's worth of activity. Mm -hmm. Once a month, you go, right, this is gonna be our cooking afternoon, and this is what we'll do. 20 pounds. So there's a bunch of different plan options. The subscription is monthly. But if you pay by the month, it's 12 pounds 99 a box. If you pay annually, you can get it down to £8.33 per box. I feel like that's really good value. So back to the question, are you going to check your mail or is it an instant fail? I am going to get Evie to check the mail. Delegation. Parenting. <laughs> Not a dog. <laughs> We too have our own digital food subscription. Meal Packs is an app which helps you plan, cook and save money on a week's worth of meals. It's designed by chefs but tested by normals. You'll reduce food waste, wash up as you go and cook dishes as if you were a chef yourself. Plus, you can try it out completely risk-free for a month. Right, Ebers, you can only have this if you contain yourself and keep in your pants. <laughs> Forage box in a compostable bag, fresh bistort. What? Bistort? What's that? Fresh garlic mustard, Alexander's seeds, dandy root chutney, dandelion and nettle. S Ooh. 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 Oh, here we go. Slow blossom syrup. Right, so Ebers, what you have here is indeed a forage box. Here at Forage Box, we love our wild food. We believe that nature offers us ingredients that are tastier, healthier, and more sustainable than anything you could find in a supermarket. We understand that no one can realistically live off forage food entirely, so by delivering a selection of ingredients to you in meal-sized portions, we aim to get wild ingredients into your everyday cooking. So every month, there's a new set of ingredients, all seasonal, all forage, that come to your doorstep with some, hopefully, brand new ingredients to you. There we go, cheeky ever smile. There we go. Oh. I think I've heard of about 50% of these. What is great about the website is that all the ingredients have accompanying information. So, for example, fresh garlic mustard, spoiler alert, great alternative to garlic 
and mustard. I love just keeping an eye open for things that look familiar, but I'm not sure I would have the confidence to pick up something like that and think, that's edible. That's where this is kind of cool. So shall we taste them and see what they taste like? I've already sniffed and nibbled a few, but let's put them into practice. So Ebers, first up, you have goat's cheese and chutney puff pastry tartlets, and I want you to whack some of your dandy chutney on top of that. Cheers. Cheers. Oh. It is delicious. Tangy and sharp. It's really tart, isn't it? Mm. It's lovely. All right. Well, before you've even finished your mouthful, that is a great quality vanilla ice cream. Drizzle over some of your slow blossom syrup. It's very floral and therefore it's quite light. It's so subtle and floral that with such a good vanilla ice cream that's packed such a punch, they kind of fight each other. But on its own, really, really good. Mm, I'm gonna come back to this one. Did you see that? That is a delicious tomato salad, but with ground Alexander's seeds on the top. Oh, oh, another cheeky ever smile there. Yeah, because that accentuates and lifts the dish, but takes it slightly different. It is different to black pepper. It's less warming, more savory. Oh, interesting. You got another one on the side there, Ebers. Grab hold of that. That is delicious white fish wrapped in steamed garlic mustard, also wrapped in kombu, and you have a kombu-based sauce there as well. Oh, there it is, the little chuckle. Cheeky Ebers chuckle. It's the chuckle tells you exactly the mood I'm in. It's so good, and to be honest with you, I think the box also then becomes a catalyst for inspiration, for what's something cool and new I can do with this, and it pushes you to try new things. Finally, Ebers, let's test out this fresh bistort. You have Greek eggs there off um, our CBA2 book. And that is a simple recipe with one twist, because we use spinach. Oh, I love this recipe. Yeah. Spinachy is kind of a bit irony, I suppose, when you when you cook it out. Whereas I don't think this is as strong a flavour, but is a good vehicle for flavour. This was wonderful because I was fed it and it was delicious. The only piece of this that I would love to know is Bistor. Where am I going to find it? Myself and Forage Box have you covered because you can actually do getaway foraging workshops to go and learn about all of these things, where they come from, and actually go to those places, forage them yourself. Love it. This is a great exploration and a catalyst to inspire you to do something different. Let's talk about price. Every box that you buy, one pound goes to Fair Share, which is a charity fighting hunger poverty. If I had to stab in the dark, 25 quid a month? 20 pounds a month. You'd pay that? I, I would pay that, actually. That's another subscription that he said he's going to do. So, Ebers, are you checking the mail or is this an instant fail? This video format is costing me a lot. I think I'm going to be checking the mail. <laughs> Cool, well, what do you guys think? Comment down below with your thoughts on those kits. Would you subscribe or not? How does one get back into this, Barry? Oh my goodness. Wait, up, up, up. I've, I've been on Android for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't have buttons, does it? That's the problem. <laughs> 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 Don't spin it round there. <laughs>